Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new, a big special welcome to you. Um, today we're going to be building a fox, just like this one I've put up on the screen now. Um, you can use orange paper, it would look better. I don't have any, so I'm going to make it out of white paper, but you'll see how good it looks. It's uh, really, really good. Um, but before I jump into that, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It really helps support me and bring you more videos. So let's jump straight into it. What you want is an A4 piece of paper is what I'm using here. Um, as long as it's a square shape and it's not too small to make it fiddly, um, you can use any size square. So that's no issue at all with that. Um, and what you want to do is you want to fold your A4 piece of paper down to the corner like that and then trim off the bottom here and dispose of that. So you've got your fold just like so and then you want to fold it on the other diagonal axis and fold that down and then open that up and then you want to fold it in half and then on the other angle you want to fold it in half as well so that when you open it up you've got a style pattern with eight seconds in it <clears throat> So it just looks like that. Then what you want to do is you want to get one of the corner pieces and fold it into the middle like so. <clears throat> and then make that your top. Now we're going to turn the page over or the paper over. And we're going to bring this edge here down to this central line here and the bottom which is this bit here will pop out so it doesn't matter if it comes out so fold it down nice and central and give it a good creasing like so our next step is to bring the right hand piece of paper over in line with that there so it runs parallel with that fold it down open it up and do the same on the other side so just bring this over and make sure that it runs parallel like so and then crease that down as well and then open it up and you should have three lines running down here now the next stage is you want to bring this flap here over to the central line here and then fold it down tightly so it matches the uh, piece of paper here, this triangle shape here. Then you want to bring this over to the central line, like so. Now you want to repeat the same steps on the other side. So you want to bring this corner piece up to there and then fold it down like so and then bring this back to the central line again so it looks like that Fold everything down nice and tightly. Next, pick up your piece of paper and you want to fold it in half like so, scoring down the edge at the top there. 
So you've got that. Now the next step is to bring this flap here back to this line here, so about here, and score it down. <coughs> like so. Then turn it over and repeat the same step. So bringing this back, it's a little bit difficult now because you've got the um, other side to contend with. But you want to bring that back to there and score it down. like so. Next we want to bring this point here, so this point here. Like so, and fold that down. And then turn it over. And simply just do the same again, making sure all your folds are nice and tight. So you want to bring this up to there and then fold that down like so. So you've got your fox's ears. And it looks something like that when you lay it down flat. Next what you want to do is you want to bring this flap here up and in line with that flap there and score it down. And then the same on this side, bring this flap here over to that side like so then with the overlapping bits here and here fold them just round and on the inside like so so bring them round Score them down like so, so it brings them to a point and it looks like that. Then, what you want to do is bring this towel section up to this line here, score that down, and then bring it back on the reverse side and score that down as well. So from here, what you want to do is you want to open up the back as much as you can without opening up the front. And you want to fold that back like that and crease it down. And same with the inside one. And the same with this side over here.
So that comes over there like that. And I just fold it through. As you can see, it's starting to come through. And fold that down flat. And then fold that one down flat. So you've got your fox's bushy tail. <clears throat> Next, grab the tail section and fold that up on itself. And then about half a centimetre down, fold it back again, like so. And then the last thing to do is to plump up these edges here and squash down the ears. And there you have your fox. Oh, my God.